Texas Tech seven wins, but Texas Tech has faced seven unranked opponents. That changes Saturday at Kansas. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the College Football Previews presented by AT&T. And it doesn't just change this weekend with Kansas. It continues the next three games for the Red Raiders because they've got Texas, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma after the Jayhawks. Let's bring in Spencer Tillman to break it all down. And Spence, when you look at this Texas Tech team, uh, where do you put them? Because they haven't played a ranked team. Well, we'll see them, uh, you know, we'll decide that after this. And I'm not so sure you're going to get a better reading simply because this Kansas defense is not particularly sparkling either. Uh, both these teams pass the ball. That's who they are. That's what they do. But we can't refute the fact that Graham Harrell is an outstanding quarterback. He's got over 13,000 yards for his career, Jason. And I don't care if you're doing it in sand lots or any place. If you can put that kind of numbers up uh, over a period of time like he has with consistency, you got to get somebody's respect. So uh, this team is for real from that standpoint. We'll see later on down the stretch when they hit the, the thicker the teams with defensive play in the Big 12. And then that's the question here for Kansas is its defense because they gave up 674 yeah. yards last week to Oklahoma. Uh, Joaquin Iglesias set Sooners receiving records. So is there any reason to believe if you're a Kansas fan that maybe you could slow down Harrell to Michael Crabtree? No, you're not going to slow either one of them down. I mean, again, Michael Crabtree is the most prolific and the most famous name among the lot. But again, you can't stop them. Again, all they need is between 50 and 75 yards rushing to constitute balance for them. And if they do that, the numbers don't work in your favor. You're not going to have success again against them if you try to stop their run game. You're just simply outnumbered, Jason. So again, when I look at this team, I see two teams that are going to concede a bunch of yards via the pass. What they've got to do is just make sure they outscore the other one to come away with the win. Well, that's the question then for Kansas, because despite the defense last week, you have told me that you were very impressed with the fact that their offense still kept fighting. Yeah, that's right. Briscoe and again, Todd Reesing, their, their quarterback, really did a fine job hooking up. It was a career day for him. Both players show the savvy that you need to have consistency against some of these juggernaut teams. As the Kansases, the Texas Techs, the Texases, and the Oklahoma start to get into the heart of their schedule, they're going to need that resi resiliency because the quarterback play in the Big 12 is so profoundly better than any other conference in all of college football right now that your mindset has got to be fixed. These guys are going to get yardage. They're going to score touchdowns. They're going to get vertical yardage up the field. How can you mentally respond for that after giving up a big play? Can you come back and get on the field and, and again, buckle up, bow your shoulders, and play defense? Both these teams have got to resign themselves that the other is going to score. And, and you've got four teams in the top ten. Texas Tech, of course, one of yep. those and all four of those teams with great quarterbacks. So I guess that brings the question has the Big 12 overtaken the SEC as the best conference this year? Well, in terms of quarterback play, yes. I'm a purist, though. I like defense, so defense dominates. So I still think that the SEC has an edge in that regard. But again, a legitimate argument could be waged just the opposite as well. If you're an offensive guy, um, maybe that you go that direction. But I can tell you this, on the National Football League level, we've had, what, 43 Super Bowls? Only three times has a lower-rated defense won the Super Bowl. And the takeaway is very simple. You can have an average offense and uh, win, not win championships, but you can't have an average defense and win championships. So it cuts both ways. Well, both these teams have an average defense so who wins this ball game yep. Texas Tech or, or, or Kansas I think which defense is most average I would say Kansas is probably going to come away with the win at home in this particular one I think Graham Harrell is going to be derailed just for a moment before they get back on track again the following week Jason hey, maybe the Jayhawks come up with a couple of turnovers that's all it may take yeah, for them we'll because see. neither defense is going to stop the other one very much Spencer Tillman thank you very much sir we'll see you Saturday all right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. And, of course, you see Spencer on the college football today, Saturday. And that, of course, precedes the SEC on CBS. And what you see on SEC on CBS, you see on SEC Live presented by AT&T. This week, it is ninth-ranked Georgia at number 11 LSU. Be sure to check that out on CBSSports.com. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.